Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Montclair's local yarn store. I am Jen. Amanda. Kathleen. And special guest, <gasps> Evie. She's a beautiful star. Look at baby. Yay. Can I bring her up? Bring her up. Bring yes. her up. Yes. I right. got to hold her. Yay. Kathleen can hold her. Yeah. Yes. We'll, we'll pass her around. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was bogarting the baby. <laughs> I was like, no, I want to hold the baby. Yeah. She's so cute. Look at her. So, look at her outfits. What a little cutie patootie. In her little Benny Hantessa by Minnie Mode. So Yay. Cool. You're so good. Evie, how old are you? Don't worry, Ted didn't answer either. <laughs> Is it two months today or close? Like yeah, pretty close. close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love so it. Cute. She oh. is two such a cutie. Oh. Hi, little girl. Yeah. Hi, little peanut. So cute. Oh my so, goodness. It's her daddy's birthday today, and so Catherine's in town, and she was like, "Hey, mom, can you keep the baby on Friday morning?" I'm like, "Sure, no problem." And then I was like, "Oh yeah, we're podcasting. We are podcasting, but that's, that's okay." okay. We love having a special guest. We love a special yeah. guest, especially such a cute little special oh guest. God, she's so cute. So. And I got to hold the baby. <laughs> so she Genius. went to sleep and then came on to take a picture. And now she's awake again. So we'll see. She might pass out again, right? I think so. Mm. Yeah. She's a, she's a, she's a sweet little baby. She's very sweet cute. Sweet little baby. Um, so yeah, so we're a podcast. We're, we're recording this on a different day than usual just because our, our schedule is a little long. So, um, we're a podcast all about knitting and crochet and making things out of yarn and fiber and stuff. Like mm -hmm. a cute little set. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. if you're joining us for the first time, Thank welcome. You. And it's okay. <laughs> this is my first coffee. <laughs> this is my, it's my second. And oh, it's, well, it's, yeah, you're it's good. full. I'm, yeah, I've been <laughs> trying to get a Instagram post up before I came here today. That did not happen, but it will yeah. right after this. Um, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you so much. Yes. And actually, we, we are so close to 4K. We were like oh. 18 people away last night. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> so maybe we've hit 4K by the time you've seen this. If not, like and subscribe, you guys. And tell a friend. we're so close. And tell a friend. If you already tell like and friend. subscribe, exactly. tell a friend to like and subscribe. <laughs> and then you too. And then you too can get to see can little see Evie. cute little babies. <laughs> Little Evie, she's who is so just happily grinning, smiling right? at me. She, she, she is. She's yeah, she's not looking for this. Yeah. Absolutely a total. Look at that. that. She's a got good head control. Yep. She's so cute. Look at her. You're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna pass out like a good baby? <laughs> She looks pretty sleepy. Sleepy baby. Getting <laughs> sleepy. Yes. Yay. Okay, so I'll keep bouncing her like this until yeah. she passes out. <laughs> oh. And meanwhile, both well, my kids were also bouncy kids. Neither of them liked the swing. But mm -hmm. Max would only sleep in a bouncy chair if you were bouncing him. <laughs> so I was like, guess what I'm doing during maternity leave? <laughs> I am bouncing you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Actually advantageous because my I like I'm antsy all the yeah. time and so uh -huh. I always jiggle Use my leg. Some of that. So it was really handy because I could be like, all right, I'm jiggling my leg. I'm and jiggling be, the and baby. Being, and being and the baby's all like, oh. and baby's happy. Out. It's great. <laughs> Worked out well. Cool. I'm also very glad that that time has passed and now he's 15 and I can just be like, go to bed. <laughs> and be like, Ugh, good sure. bed or at least stay in your room. I know. <laughs> you. Uh, I love babies. Yes. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Uh, what is, we are again on a uh, schedule today because we're recording uh -huh. this right before the store opens. So right. like, But last time, I think, was truly our longest episode. It was, was over it really? two and a half really, hours. Really, really oh my gosh. Over, I, and I Man, was we're chatty. About it. We are. So we're going to have to Thank be you guys. More quickly chatty today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to actually through. have to work. Well, yeah, zoom through all of our. We'll yeah, zoom through. Be, be close to an hour. So let's dive into what is going on around town. Um, well, do you want to talk about the two things that are going on in the store very coming up very soon? Absolutely. Yes. Let's do that because yeah. that I think is crucial going on around yeah. town. Yeah. So the first one is we have the Crafter Gamer Geek yeah. Trunk Show. 
On the and game night. Yep. Um, on the fifteenth of March. So, do we have another podcast before then? No. No. We yeah. Not. That's this is next the, Friday. Yeah, this That'll is the podcast to be less than a week away. Yeah. By the time the, you can see this, this is the last one. I really hope. Well, A, I really hope to see you at the Trunk Show. Yeah. Um, we put it on a Friday intentionally because we know there's a lot of you guys who are fans of Crafter Gamer Geek who are in the city mm -hmm. um, and love mixing our fiber arts with uh, gaming. Yeah. So, um, so that'll be, I want to make sure everybody can get out here. So yeah. we have, um, during the day, if you're available during the day, is the Trunk Show from like one to one, five. One to five. One to five. Yeah. yeah. We close at five. I always forget. Hours. We close at five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's from one to and, five. And we probably will take a little dinner break in there, a little yeah. you know, chill break between. Then, yeah. Because then mm -hmm. game night starts six to eight. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have Genshin Impact. We're going to have uh, Mario, Kart. Mario Kart. And we're going to have some table games. Yes. I know. Evie wants to come. Guys, it'll be super <laughs> fun. We'll teach her how to play Flux. I, ho <laughs> I hope it's super noisy in here. Like, I would love to have it just crowded with. And super fun. Honestly, like, if you're a crafter and you're not so into games, but your friend is, bring your friend. Yeah. And yeah. you can net and watch them play games. Yeah. yeah, or you can crochet, or you can bring your easy spinner. Yes. <laughs> a little. Oh my gosh, that would uh -huh. be so fun, right? Um, and it's the such trunk a good, show... like side by side activity. Yeah, like, exactly. Two different people totally can be is. doing different things and spending time together. Exactly. Yep. And uh, the trunk show will be open during game night, yep. so it'll be super yes. fun um, so for all of you who work too. Yeah. The yes, day. exactly. You know what? There's a um, Montclair board gamers group that I'm a member of, even though I haven't gone to any of their things, just because whenever coordination is hard. Life. Yeah. Um, life. But uh, I will see if I can repost that on there, too, because I know that there mm. are... I mean, I feel like that's a good intersect, like gamers and, and crafty people. There's a definite intersection. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, sure. And I think Crafter Gamer Geek is such a perfect uh, uh, dyer maker to bring them together. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited for the, the game night. I think that's going to be fun. So that's the first event that we have yep. coming up. And then we also have... The next Saturday. Yep. Is Knit for Food. food. That is the yeah. 23rd. Correct? Yes. The 23rd. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday. Okay, cool. um, we Our normal hours on Saturday is 11 to 5. Mm -hmm. We're going to be open from 10, so you can come an hour early um, and get your coffee and start, because that's when Knit for Food kicks that's off. That's the so kickoff, yeah. We're going to be there right when it kicks off. We'll be live streaming all the Zooms during the day. Oh, I um, I talked to my PT about stopping by during the day and oh, doing nice. a whole stretching exercise. I and really love that. How to make Great. sure that when we're doing... 10 to 12 hours of knitting or crochet or whatever craft you're doing that day, mm -hmm. that yes, that you're making you're not hurting sure yourself. your body too. <laughs> going like this, going this. That you're sitting up properly. That's all I know. Yeah. 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 So um, that's fantastic. So Kathy's going to come by. Very nice. Well in Montclair. Oh, I hear such good things about them. They are an amazing shop. It is not, if you're scared of chiropractors, it is not a chiropractor. She, um, yeah, she's my physical therapist. So yeah. whatever's wrong with you. My I... back is messed up because seven children. Yeah. And I feel like physical therapy is such a great thing. And especially like, you know, we use our hands and yeah. if you, especially if you're a tight knit, oh my goodness, <gasps> that little you. baby sneeze. Bless Bless you, sweetie. It's like baby sneezes and cat sneezes, I think yeah. are so cute. just oh, adorable. Dog sneezes and cute. like whatever. Like dog sneezes, sure they're fine, but like cat sneezes, and they the never sneezes do. Sneezes are it. very cute because she's little. Because I was gonna say a little dog sneeze, <laughs> a big dog sneeze, you're like gross. Get away from me. Um, oh, God. A cat sneeze is hilarious because they look so stupid, <laughs> and a baby sneeze is adorable because you're so cute. cute. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I you're feel smiling. like physical therapy is such a good thing, especially if you're a tight knitter, because like you can. It's, you're really it's hard. yeah. You're putting a lot yeah. of tension on your you're muscles so without meeting to. You're like, yeah. Well, and it's a good way to relieve the stress of like, you know, and we want to keep doing this as we, yes, yes exactly. Age. Well, and right. It's a way to make sure that the solution is a surgery down the road. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Absolutely. that's like, yeah, you know, to avoid I that go for my back because like just ignoring it and dealing with the pain is 
how things get to a point where they can't be recovered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's a good yeah, point. that's Very true. Point. Hey, listen to your body. So that's yes. such a great idea. So we'll have we'll have more information about when she'll be here. Um, yes, on Knit for Food. So I thought you were we, talking we about can, Evie. No, <laughs> we can add that too. We already have an event on our calendar for that day, so yes. we can yes. add that in. Yes, we'll, yes. so we'll add in. We can slot in like any other things yes. we that are happening at certain times. And also keep an eye on our Instagram uh, yes. uh, and uh, Facebook pages, uh, and also our newsletter because mm-hmm. we'll be throwing that in there too. Um, and that is the Knit for Food is the twenty third, and if you are already signed up to support. Knit for food, awesome, and collect pledges. If I heard not, Jasmine hit her goal. Jasmine did hit her goal. Nice. Um, if you haven't, yay, Jasmine. Um, Jasmine is a friend of Yarnia, a fellow member yes, of the Moncler yes. Knitting Circle, and she's she kind of did her own team, basically. Yeah, she, she did said. her own she team. She raised a lot of money. But if you don't Jasmine. necessarily want to do your own team, um, you can pledge uh, donations at shop uh, the Yarnia team. Yes, Team Yarnia. Uh, team is Yarnia. down below. Yep. yep. And thank you so much to those who've already pledged. We yep. really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I am going to be getting out thank you notes to those folks. Oh, um, okay. Knit for Food makes it really easy. It's really nice. But I figured let me get a batch of them and then I'll okay. do them all together. So we are at that point. But and yay, if you want to contribute, you still can. Awesome. Yep. And Knit for Food is basically kind of like a knit a thon um, or craft a thon. Yarnathon, whatever you want to mm-hmm. call it, um, where that day we'll be raising money to help uh, wipe out food insecurity. And uh, you can find out more at the Knit for Food website down below. Yeah. Yes. Do we have any other around towns going on? Those that are we can my, think of? Those, those are, are the top ones, ones that I can think of I'm going that are to happening. the Flamenco Festival in New York City tonight. Oh, that's fun. I think it's all weekend, but um, yeah. That's that's going on immediately around town. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go watch Max's uh, Winter Ultimate Team in their finals tonight Ooh, in nice. Kentuckian. I was going to ask if Max could watch the little boys, but mm. I, my appearance. Oh, good. good. He's also going, he has to wake up. I, he has to wake up. I also <laughs> have to wake up super early tomorrow to drive down to Jackson for their first Ultimate Tournament. Oh, wow. It's like, well, you can, you can wave at me at my mom's house. On I the can. I will wave as if we're like, we're headed to, to Jackson. Drive by. Literally, you can see Jackson from her corner. Oh, oh really? Yeah, oh, that's so how it goes. I, I, will be, I will be right around. I'll be at the Jackson whatever sports <laughs> complex with probably six stinky high school boys in my back seat at 6 a.m. Oh, Lord. Like, oh, you'll be there before me then. Starbucks first. Yeah, you'll oh, be there goodness. before me. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, but it's good. So good. we should pop into finished objects. Mm-hmm. But first, let's just say what do we oh, know what gosh. episode it is? Um, twenty-five. No, one twenty-five. Lower. One twenty-two. Yes. Oh. Very good. Very good. I've learned with lower and higher that I need to not just go one. Not down. just go one. Exactly. Yeah. It's only taken me a hundred and twenty-two <laughs> episodes to learn this people but i mean i have a learning curve it's just you have well you have, the slope is it. not where it ought to be for you know <laughs> it's all good it's fine but but it does curve <laughs> eventually over a long long period of time um yeah so let's let's yes. go ahead and talk about some finished objects finished objects do you want to start do you have any i have no finished objects well what are you wearing Oh, that's true. I do have that. Yes. Um, I have a Felix made in Cory Worsted. Nice. So, Cory Confetti. Sorry. Cory Confetti. Yes. Hey, it's it's Cory Worsted. I'm, even oh, though it's my nice. second cup of coffee. <laughs> I haven't had much of this one. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so Cory Confetti, which um, folks may know La Bienna May is no longer making. Yes. Um, we did get a pretty good amount of it in our last order, but but it is gone. We cannot order it anymore. Oh. So, so get what you So if you get. want it, and this is Graybo, love Graybo. I love Graybo. I do have a bunch of the um, ochre color put away to make another one. It's a very you color. It's a very me color. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Um, and we also have some Gigi loves. Uh, oh, the orangey. The orange ones. one. I forget. Um, it's it's a Gigi color. I forget exactly uh, what that is one it, is called. I'm thinking uh, of the Tosh ones, and it's uh, yeah, not the same the as the Tosh one. Tosh one is Gigi loves. Um, it's another orange speckle. Oh, gosh. It's, it's the third one. It's the orange. So it's if you're orange. interested. Yeah. It's, orange. it's the orange. It's a reddish orange, though. Yeah, yeah it's really it's really pretty. It's not it's a really nice one. Yeah. It That particular batch, and I don't remember if they made that 
color more than once. You know, these come in batches. Mm -hmm. um, the particular batch of the orange color is very fuzzy. It has like, a lot of mohair type content um, in yeah. it. And because I originally was going to do that, and then I, I could tell, um, even looking at it, it just, it. I'm so allergic to that stuff that yeah. it was not going to work for me. But the ochre it looks more like, you know, it looks it looks like it's got a lot of wool in it. Yeah. So. Well, and that's the, the, the thing with the confettis is that they're made with um, recycled fibers mm -hmm. as well. So it's yeah. like... Yeah, don't know what you're getting. You don't know exactly what you're getting. It's all, yeah. Which is also what makes it, like, cool, because it's, yeah. like, your batch of, like, I also did a Felix in Graybo, but I had Graybo 2, and I think mm -hmm. the Graybo 2 has, that I have has a little bit more mohair in it, too, and it mm -hmm. doesn't have, it has neon pops, but mm -hmm. it doesn't have as many. Not as, as many neon. It doesn't right. have as many. It's got more of, like, the pink and, like, Mm -hmm. some green pops but you yours has like more green and blue in mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. uh than mine 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 skews a little pink and has a little bit more of i think it's the tang that orangey one uh-huh uh -huh. um yeah so it's kind of cool that everything is unique yeah i love it yeah. um but I, that's it i've that's been working away on two things and have not finished either one of them but we will talk about that later we'll talk about that later <laughs> I How about do you? have a finished Yay. object. Yay. I'm going to reach around because I threw it over here. I'm going to knock cool. things over. All right. Here's my finished object. I oh, did finish wow. in February. I finally Yay. dug up. My goodness. I, I'll say the hardest part about finishing this sucker so was pretty. finding where I put it in the house. <laughs> there you um, go. Sometimes I, that's the way it, it goes. In the, we have a built-in bookcase that has cabinets underneath, and the TV's there. Apparently, I put it underneath the TV. Why? I don't know. Well, you were I probably think working it, on it at some point, and thought you could. I think I was working it. on it at some point, and I think someone when, came over, and you're like, clean up, clean up, clean up. Yeah, it, uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure Jonathan was like, that. he was like, can you please put away some of your yarn stuff? And I'm like. Pfft fine mm -hmm. and I put it literally in the closest place this is uh -huh. why you don't want me to clean up like this is why he does the tidying because he puts things in a logical place and oh I'm my like, god it fits our here. house our house is exactly the opposite really I it's like there are certain things I'm like James just leave it at my spot I will put it away because he will put it in this creative place and I will never see it again <laughs> that's that me. means wrong <laughs> yeah, creative is wrong. well it's like I well, mean literally we've been in this house 20 years yeah. certain things have been have an established spot for 20 years and he will put it somewhere else mm -hmm. yeah I, I mean <laughs> granted if something has an established spot i am the person who has established that spot so uh -huh. i am like why are the nail clippers not where the nail clippers go yeah yeah and now i have trained my children to also uh -huh. basically they're like the nail clippers aren't where the nail clippers go uh -huh. there you and go Jonathan was like uh and i'm like they belong in that little bin in that drawer <laughs> where have you been because I have to organize my chaos. But this was, I think, I, I decided to claim one of the cabinets, and then I forgot I claimed it. Uh-huh. Um, so I found a bunch of stuff in there. That good, kind of good. Uh, so this is the Summer Sorrel um, so by oh Woolen Pine. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll pick it up for you. Yeah. Look at this. You got it? Yes. Do, we, do you want to try to put Evie in her chair, or is she uh, she's good? She's too soon. She's a happy baby on her mom and grandma. So, Woolen Pine um, Summer Sorrel. I love the sorrel dip stitches. There we go. Um, it's blowing which is out. so fine. But the neck on this the sorrel was way too high for me. Mm -hmm. I don't do well with a close neck. So, I figured I would try the Summer Sorrel. And then I made it with long balloon sleeves. Because, like realistically, ah. I'm not going to wear... A short sleeve wool, wool sweater. Sweater. Yeah. Even, I will wear a short fingering. sleeve wool blend uh -huh. sweater, even fingering. Yeah. Um, and so basically, I did the. I don't know. I don't remember when I started this. Um, maybe two years ago. A couple ago. Of years ago. Yeah. I yeah. blew as per usual. I blew through the yoke, and then I was like, "All right, let me finish the body because it's all stuck in it, right?" Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> and it's reverse stocking out, which means I knit it inside out. I would. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not a sucker. I did a little short row with the underarm, and I was like, I am not pearling this baby. No way. Um, no way. And went around the other way. And uh, I have a couple of things that I would probably change about this Aww. if I made... A little cries. I'm, I'm sorry. Just... I'm sorry. <laughs> am I distracting you? Yes, I am. So, I'm the neck is a little big for me. 
And I think this is more just me changing style. Styles. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's more just me changing styles than anything wrong with the pattern. So the only thing I would say if you're making the summer sorrel, know that like the sorrel has a very high tight neck, crew neck, um, mm -hmm. or jewel neck almost. And mm -hmm. uh, this has a low scoop neck and a lower scoop neck in the back. And it starts with an I cord cast on, which is very cool. I think if I were doing this pattern again to adjust the neck and to have a little bit more of that flexibility, uh -huh. I would probably start with a, I would not start with the I cord cast on. Uh -huh. I would do a, I would either cast on normally or I would do a provisional cast on and then come back at the end and that oh, way I, like I could that. tighten it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I do love the look of the I cord. Um, and I think it looks really cool with the dip stitches kind of splaying out. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that for me, I would probably, if I, if I made this again and I really do love this, this kind of look, I would go for an in-between neck, which would mean significantly adapting one yeah. or the other pattern. And I have mm -hmm. both of them. Mm -hmm. Um, I do like the balloon sleeves and I did knit this, uh, alternating colors of Mad Tosh sock. I don't remember what color it is because I literally got it 20 years ago. Yeah. I was going to say that's, this not, is deep, I, deep stash. Yeah. Um, and I knit both the sleeves and the body helically. Mm -hmm. So it looks so good. It pulled. It pulls really nicely. Beautifully. And then, uh, for the balloon sleeves, I basically picked up the sleeves after the divide, knit straight down and then decreased it down to a decent amount and did an I cord bind off at the bottom. And I did twist it around. So I like it a lot. Um, because I knit it loose and I knit it over the course of like four separate years. Um, and Tosh sock is super wash. I, threw it in the dryer after blocking because it was a little too loosey goosey uh, and it snapped back into shape and I like it. Yeah, it looks right. perfect. And I mean, so I would, I actually forgot it in the dryer. Oh, so like I you laid it, it flat. Here we go. Mail time. <laughs> Mail time. No, no. Oh, it's we can get it. You got it? Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Answer this. Oh, good. Oh, yay. Yeah. Yay. Um, so I laid it flat to dry, realized it was coming out a little bit floppy. It was still damp and I literally threw it in the dryer and forgot about it in the dryer. So it dried for an hour. And let me tell you, Tosh sock holds up real nice. Oh, yeah. It, it Not looks, a it looks, pill. It looks perfect. It, it looks really perfect. Was, the yeah. ribbing, like I will 100% throw this in the dryer oh, again. Yeah. And I did not put it on low. Uh -huh. I told I you that's one of my favorite sock yarns. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. And Set for that reason, as it looks pristine it after looks, washing and washing and washing and washing and washing. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Love the touch sock. Yeah. All right. So well, that's, that's my finished object. That's yeah, definitely good for an I actually want to wear this thing. Right? I'm like, I would, I mean, and that even loosely, like it's one thing like socks that you throw in the dryer, they're densely knit, right? They're yeah. designed to be abused. I still put them in a dryer bag or like a wash bag. Well, then you also don't lose them. That's true. Yeah, and they don't get as abused. But like, and that was in the dryer by itself, but it was more loosely knit. So, yeah, you know, I was like, oh, this came out pretty nice. I'm impressed. Yeah, totally yeah. Yes. Um, Amanda finished objects. I have another finished Fullerton. Woohoo! Yes, you do. Yay. So, so I finished, good. yeah, we went to, um, we went up to the Berkshires. Nice. Was that right? And no. JK. Catskills. Oh, nice. Yeah. We went up to the Catskills weekend before last. Yeah. The day that this, that the last pot, that the long podcast came out, mm -hmm. I had to stay up till like one in the morning because we were leaving at 8 a.m. the next day. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. No way to finish that. So one. I had to like finish it that night and get it up and post it and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, yeah, we went up to the Catskills. We went to Amagon, which is a brewery. Oh yeah. Ooh. It was really it was really good they have like a great like restaurant and tasting room as well so chat and we were meeting friends so it was one of chad's old friends um and uh and his wife and like they had the the boys had flights and we just picked our favorites and had drinks so fun yeah and then we went to there's 
there's a, several breweries. We went to another brewery up there and a distillery. Nice. It was really, really good. They had amazing cocktails. How so, long the dri- uh, drive was it? Three and a half hours, maybe? Oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, wow. It that's was nice. Good. It was good. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we did that, and this was the project that I took because I had mm-hmm. finished the back, but mm-hmm. I finished both fronts and picked up the edges and did all the ribbing on that. She's so fuzzy. Yeah. So yeah. pretty. I so, love it with the variegated. This one is also Tosh Sock. So I have Tosh mm-hmm. Sock mm-hmm. as the background color of this um, of this Fullerton vest, which I didn't oh, mention. I, I didn't mention the Fullerton vest is by me. Yay! Yay! So it is, I think we're almost done with testing. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I had mentioned that I wanted to get testing finished by like middle of March. And then... Um, incorporate all any comments and changes and have this out hopefully for a, beginning of april that's Yay! my goal yeah. so if you guys love the fullerton vest um then that'll be available to everybody beginning of april and you know we'll have a discount code for our chronicles of yarnia viewers yes. so we'll get to that but mm-hmm. um but yeah today i'm also styling it so i've started a new office job too um and the this is like, I wore my black one the other day with a black mm-hmm. pencil skirt and a white top, and it looks so cute, and I'll probably be wearing this on Monday. It yeah, is it looks really good. Cute. I like it with like skirt. Yeah, right? It's got a little shimmer in it. Yeah, but you know me and sparkle. Ha, I know. Ha, ha. <laughs> uh, but just so you can see it, sorry for bouncing, but needs must. Um, so I have the Tosh sock in the Central Park West color, and then this is the Ferme Dalmathe. And the Volupte base, and uh, whatever the turquoise color is called, I don't really remember. Um, but yay! This is version two. This is so I, cute. I actually had so much time between the first version and the second, I didn't remember how to knit it. So I had to. <laughs> so it was, it was a good it analysis was a true pattern. Test net. Yeah, I, I love that. It's a true, love that. true going back to. Yep. I had back to, like, to basics. Look at my pattern and remember what what to do next. Um. <laughs> That was. It good. looks really good. Cool. Yeah. So that's my first finished object, and then my finish in February was to finish. Winahan. Yeah, definitely. Um, which I will say, my cop out is the ends aren't woven in. I mean, As we've talked about, that means it's podcast finished. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love the edging. Oh, look how right. Fun. Yep. So wow. this one is done. I was actually holding Evie last night um and finished crocheting the last round on the edging so yay pokemon crochet blanket mm-hmm. granny stripe crochet i love this project it was so relaxing Look it was like the perfect edging. one yeah and since it's pokemon i did like i said i was going to um around a double crochet in white around a single crochet in black and around a double crochet and it looks like a little pokeball it's a pokeball it's going all around and i think that color scheme looked turned out really good on that i think it's mm-hmm. fantastic i love the stripies i'm just trying to show a little <laughs> bit more this is such a good size too is right. this like full full probably i haven't laid that on the bed i just laid it on the floor i think i put I'm that in the last yeah just toss throw it there we go. It's a kid's blanket, so. I mean, it's <laughs> gonna it's gonna get yay worn hard by those boys. Yeah, so that's and the, girls. That's the last time you'll see it. I'll maybe I'll have a picture of them all snuggled in it. Oh, oh yay! Now she falls. Yeah. Yeah, she's out. Oh, that look how girl. beautiful. <laughs> that a girl. Um, cool. That's awesome. So those are my two finished objects, which I'm so thrilled with. That's solid. Yeah. Yeah. And you finished the, did you finish both of them in February? We're going to say I finished. I, We're well, going to say yes. I, I finished finish. the, um, <laughs> yeah, I finished the vest in February and the, the, the blanket I finished. I had, I had a trip to Vegas. I had business trips, so I didn't have time at the end of February to knock out this last few rows, but I finished it last night. Like so I said, holding her. When we take out the business trips, that counts as February. It counts as February. <laughs> It totally That's counts. how we're going. Mm-hmm. Goals met. Um, do you have any more finished? I do not. I have okay. a half finished object. We'll talk about that in whips. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's hop to whips. Why don't we have to whips? Yeah. And let me, I've got what like, you got? I got like 10 stitches here before I, I kind of want to get to the end of this row. Not but, a problem. Um, I mean, I, baby's mama's tell, asking me how she is. So I'm going to send her a Oh, send her a little yeah. pic. 
like, so down. Mimi Farms. I, I was not as successful in Finish of February, but but I'm I'm close actually on one of them, so yeah. we'll see. And I, I had a complete change of direction on that one, so I feel like ah, I'm not. Yeah, that's uh, an interesting. I can't wait. That's in I whips. Mean, I saw a little that's sneak in preview still, yeah. yesterday when we were in our intermediate class. I love babies yeah. who are asleep. <laughs> Look, uh, they just turn long. into like dead weight, and they're see. just. Like, <sighs> I'm rushing this and now I'm making it. a mistake. Ugh. It's like there was um, when Max was like a little bit a little bit younger than one. We went down to North Carolina where my grandmother lived at the time, and uh, like outside of Asheville. And so then we went to go visit Biltmore, and I was like, I am bringing the backpack baby carrier because I'm no a lot of walking and a there. One year old and a stroller mm -hmm. in yeah, Biltmore, yeah. and not, it's an not a good house combo. with a lot of stairs. Yeah. And so. Mm -hmm. I had him on my back and I could tell the moment he fell asleep because all of a sudden it got like 20 pounds heavier and it was just like, foom, yeah. this like, like a little sandbag <laughs> on my back and like snuggled into my neck and I was like, oh, he's so cute. Because it was better than him being like, go. Tr trying to get uh, out. Uh, trying to. Uh, he, you know what, he was really good. He never tried to get out. Um, he liked, but he always had to see. So if he was uh -huh. on my front, mm -hmm. he was like, oh my God, what's going on? See, he see. had to be facing out. Yeah. Um, which is a little harder in the front and it was easier in the back, but like I needed, he was wiggly enough that I'm like, I needed somebody else to basically, I'm like, I put oh, on yeah. the, the, the carrier. It was like an ergo, but it wasn't an ergo. Um, I put on the carrier and then made Jonathan smack him in there. Yeah, that makes sense. And then he, then there was like a little hood that could go over there so like he could sleep in the dark. Oh, so as nice. soon as he conked out, I was like, all right, walking around my, with my little 30 pound weight on the back. <laughs> or however big he was. I don't remember no. how big he was. It wasn't 30. No. 20? Maybe. 20? How old was he? Almost a, a year. year. Yeah. I mean, he was like a little Buddha baby. He, mm -hmm. that, that baby was round. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, here, so, yeah. let me undo my thing. When well, I was working out after Charlie was born, mm -hmm. I just tried to keep my kettlebells and both my weights together, mm -hmm. the weight that he was, oh, up, wow. to, up to a point, up to 30 pounds, I'll do beyond 30 pounds or 215, so that's the end of it. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was because then it makes it, if you're doing like 15 reps of whatever, it makes it really easy to lift right. your baby. You're like, yeah, hey, makes sense. Yeah. I am lifting weights. <laughs> His name is Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me get my coffee out of the way. Oh, there you go. you're good, you're good. So I have two things I did not finish in February, uh -huh. <laughs> both of which I was hoping to finish in February, but um, one is my testnet of Amanda's vest, the Fullerton mm, vest. I am so loving pretty. it. I really am. Um, I also did Tosh so inspired by Amanda Central Park so West. Um, I picked the Urbane colorway, which that's really nice. Yeah, I really such it's, a great it's combo. a similar feel, but more yeah. like slightly more autumnal colors. I feel like that one is more like a spring, springy yes. kind of look. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and I did I don't know I did maybe like eight repeats or something. It was it was a substantial amount of knitting, and then I decided my floof was too light. Oh no, I know it was. I decided the floof was too light on my swatch. So yes. I switched for this, which I'm really light happy. Light in color. Yes. Light, yes. In, co light in color. Oh. Exactly. Not, I, I what wanted. What color did you start with? Um, it's a little more, it's like oh, I know. The, the, orangey the orangey one. one. It's like, it's but it's, orangey. it's a lot lighter than this. It's a lot lighter. I love this color. I think this is, a, I, I really, really pretty. I, it, it is like the same as the speckles in this. Yeah. Which, it, it really goes nicely. It's funny because the other one sort of matched some of the speckles too, but much lighter speckles. And mm -hmm. I just, I wanted it to contrast. I yeah. really wanted that, yeah. that so. pop. Um, but one thing, you know, if you guys watch this, we watch our show a lot, you know that I can't do mohair. I can't do alpaca. I'm allergic to a lot of animals other than sheep. <laughs> so this is really my first time doing a significant project with any kind of floofy yarn. Yeah. Because normally it's just not something that's an option for me. I'm using cash silk light, which I'm not allergic to cashmere. Yay. Yay. So, um, so I, for the first time have really been doing a lot of knitting with the floofy yarn and it's just taking getting some used to. Yeah. It really is. It's, it's a little there, different. There, it is a little different. I mean, I'm used to being able to poke my needle through, scoop out the stitch, and pull it right out. Yeah. And it's you don't necessarily have that experience when you have floof because you get stuck in the floof. Yeah. And the floof uh, sticks to 
Yep. It's so, so, so I'm loving the pattern. I can't wait to have the finished object to wear. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just taking me a little longer than I hoped. Yeah. But I have separated for sleeves. Yay! I'm working on the back. I am on to my, I'm about to do my third set of decreases on the back. It looks really so, good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. The fronts go so fast. I do, because you just get rid of so many stitches. Yeah, I, yeah. I really do hope that I will be wearing this in the next episode. Yeah. We will see. We will see. I did my, I mean, because I was also playing Yarn Chicken, I did my fronts at the same time. Uh-huh. But that also helped ensure that I didn't have to keep track of my decreases huh. in the same way. Uh-huh. I'm like, I, I will probably do that, too. It's yeah, just then the back like, will be done this is and a decrease, just, right? yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so if I, I screw up, I screw up on both sides. I should have brought another bowl of this to wine because clearly I'm going to need more. And I have it at home, mm. but maybe Jean can drop it off for me later. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so so that is my so polar tin. Can't wait till it's done, but did not finish it in February. Uh, and then my other thing that I really thought I was going to finish yeah. um, was my Ariana. Because you were so is, close last time. I was I was really pretty close. I had made a lot of progress. By aiming for stoppers. Yes. Yes. Um, I had made a lot of progress. And um, I knew that um, on Sarah from the It's a Sarah podcast, or It is a Sarah. There, mm -hmm. It's funny. There's two. There's one It's a Sarah, and there's another one It is a Sarah. Isn't that funny? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Um, but, uh, it is a Sarah who I know about from Kim and Jana. Jana mm -hmm. is a big fan of hers. Um, she had made this sweater and, uh, you know, had some good pointers on it. And so here I am merrily going along and I, I will give you, I will send you pictures before we leave here today. Okay. So you can pop them in. I have to edit to that I know. I know. Um, so, you know she had some comments on the pattern and I was, I was at the point I had just actually joined, I don't know, like the fifth round or something on this, um, back and fronts and back, not sleeves yet. And I was changing it to eliminate the underarm excess fabric, which a lot of people have done. Yeah. I, I didn't find anyone who did it, who had great directions on how they did it. Mm -hmm. And if you're following the pattern, it's, it's laid out, you know, literally the squares are numbered and it tells you join, you know, one, two, three, four, five across and then join seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so on. Um, but if you're eliminating some of those squares, it really changes the geometry. It's not even oh. remotely the same. Okay. And so what was starting out really easy started to take a lot longer. And then, um, I watched, um, it is a Sarah's episode where she was talking about how she made this not only did she take out uh, the excess under the arm, which was like eliminating four squares, I think, um, she actually shortened it by a whole row. And and basically the row that had to be taken out was the second full row. And I was already on like the sixth row. Oh no! <laughs> and so I did hold it up to me, and I, I should have actually had Jean take a picture for me. Mm -hmm. um, I held up what would be the shoulders. I had done like the back neck and I had the shoulders. Yeah. It came to below my butt. It was going to be a coat. Yeah. I did not want to make a coat. I was not looking for a coat. I was looking for a little cardigan. So yeah. I decided to turn my cardigan into a throw. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Look. Look how fun. So basically, and this is why I'm going to send you the pictures because. That's <laughs> so funny. Oh my God. I, I mean, I had so many squares. Jen, could you yeah. grab the other Yes. Yeah. Um, I had so many squares. Um, I just rearranged them and it is, it's not quite done. I was, I got through last night. I basically have to create a few more half triangles for the bottom and a couple more quarter triangles I mean, for the corners. But isn't that crazy? Yeah. So that tells you amazing. how much fabric this was. This yeah. was, this was not going to like be something. It was like a coat. Yeah. It was like a coat. Um, are you so, going to do an edging around? I am. I'm going to do an edging. Black. I think I'm going to do black initially okay. and then maybe a white and then, and then nice. another black. Yeah. I mean, this is, I actually, I actually love it with the, the granny squares on point. I do too. I yeah, really right? do. I feel like it's one of those things I wouldn't necessarily so have done graphic. it. It's, mm -hmm. um, and making the, the, I never had made half squares and quarter squares before this project. They're kind of easy that. and fun. They really are. They're not, they're not bad once you get used to it. Right. I mean, and, it's such a nice. And I love the black. It just gives you that stained glass look, right? Yeah. I mean, that's always, and the crazy thing, and Jen heard this yesterday stained glass, this the red uh, tomato, this is all done in Lucky Tweed. Mm -hmm. Started out of scraps, of course, as I usually do. 75% of it was purchased for the project. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you start with scraps and then you're like, I'm out. 
I need more. I need, I need more. more. I need more. Um, the red matches my sofa in the living room exactly. I mean, oh it's goodness. kind of perfect. Isn't that crazy? It perfect, yeah. It's yeah. like the universe was saying, like, you know. You don't really want that as a cardigan. You don't want that as a cardigan. You want to you want to do a different. You can still make the cardigan another time. You know what? I now I you think know I will. ahead. Now ahead. exactly. I know. You know. Definitely make it shorter and and really pay a lot more attention um, to the size of the squares. Right. I was already using the layout of the small because my squares were bigger. Yeah. But they were even bigger. Well, so say one, two, three, That's four, so five, so six. So we can. Oh yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, I guess you could do the squares instead of five repeats. I could do five rounds. You could do a four. Yeah, or and I can use DK. Oh yeah, that's oh, a good yeah. idea. Yeah, I I, which DK. is what I that think I should do. Really cool. Are we getting another right. delivery? Yeah, I think so. All right. Um, I'm I'm really happy with this. I'm really close to being done. Um, yeah, I was yeah. Ho hoping to have my and obviously it's no longer February, but um, but just barely. Yeah, I, I think I think this is going to be really nice on the back of my sofa, and then I will yeah. I will pick. There is one person who made it in. They made it actually for a child, so this is oh. a pattern that only comes in two sizes. Um, but obviously, it's very easy to change the size by changing your yarn weight, the, yeah. the number of rounds you do. I mean, really, anybody could adjust it. Make your squares and different. By, you know, by that, um, yeah. by those couple of things. So I was thinking if I do it in DK and maybe I will do like four rounds and then join on the fifth round. Yeah. Um, but somebody did one where each they're solid basically oh. and it looks really cute. And I think if you picked like four or five individual colors yeah. and then just picked one color for, um, I mean, obviously this doesn't have, you know, ribbing, there's no cuffs yeah. on a blanket. Um, but picked one color for the ribbing that tied it all together. I think that would be really nice. So cause on the sweater pattern, it has you assemble them and then you, pick up and knit ribbing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's a good combo. And a lot of people, if you are thinking about doing the sweater version of it, um, one of the tips that I read that makes a lot of sense to me is people who have done it six, that looks really good. Do one round of single crochet around first, either single crochet or half double crochet oh. so that you're picking up in something very even. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. doesn't that make so much that sense? That makes a lot of sense, especially yeah. when you get to like these little stringy edges, the stringy and stuff. gaps. Yeah. Because otherwise you're going to, you know, I can totally see yeah. that would be yeah. like weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So That's yeah, a really great tip. Yeah. You can kind of even it out with the single crochet or half doubles. And uh, yeah, but I love the granny squares on point. I think it's such a pretty know, look. It's, it's so just, nice. it's like a subtle change, but it actually does change it. Yeah. I feel so. like it's a little more modern too than like, yes, you know, definitely. just like a little, yep. Little, just, a just little, angle. little kick. Yep. I really like it. Thank you. Um, I'm shocked. I'm still in shock. I know. What? That this, the cardigan became a throw. Yeah. <laughs> isn't it crazy how many, and I still have more squares there. I'm like, this isn't even all the squares. I had already <laughs> like Kathleen and I, Kathleen was already like, I knew about it. Are you going to make some pillows? No, I, I don't have that many more. I, and I, I love my pillows that I already have on my sofa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but, um, maybe a bag. Oh, I, yeah, there's, really only, a there's only a few left, but oh, it's okay. like enough. What I'm probably going to wind up doing. Oh, they're, they're actually in here with my yarn now. Mm. Um, oh. I have three halves already and okay. I need five, Six, seven. I think I'll need at least seven, so I may take some of the squares that are done apart to, uh, to make a half to make because I think I'm just about out of the red, mm -hmm. and yeah. I, I'm not going to put the red in the border because when when yeah. I did that, it's too Gryffindor. Uh, Remember uh, when I did? I had to minimize yes, the red. Right. It yeah, was, it was so very... I'm not putting any red in the border, but I think the the black and the white in the border will be fine. We'll we'll see. I'll yeah, I'll see it, as it'll I be go. very graphic. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's that's the nice thing about the the black and white. That's an, an, an impressive shift. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just, I, I don't know. I was looking at it and I'm like, this thing is practically a throw. And you're like, Ding. light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> so I know, right? Like the pivot, I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. No, it just, it, I, I was not going to be happy with it. I, I yeah. just hit the point where I could tell I was not, and as much as I was really trying to get it done, I'm like, no, yeah, this is not. And I didn't even have to rip out that much of it. I did have to take some of it out, mm -hmm. but Mostly it was piecing things in individually, um, which takes a lot longer. That's the other, like I, yeah. I joined, I, I, I edged one row, joined another row and edged that row all in like two hours last night, okay. which it's, you know, it, it looks way more done tonight than it did yesterday morning because, um, when you're working a solid row, it's very easy and quick when yeah. you're, when you're jumping up and down is when it takes a long time and you got yeah. a lot more ends to weave. So all those ends, man. Podcast so, finished. <laughs>
Yeah. yeah. Close, close. It, it, that one. I'm just gonna, I, well, I did crochet over my ends mm -hmm. here. Uh huh. So now I'm just going to weave them one direction, cut yeah. them off. So that uh -huh. they'll be yeah. secure enough. This is fast weaving in. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. they're already. They're already secured one way. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. They're secured. It's just getting that little extra tail in. So there's a little extra security when somebody yanks on something. Because boys. Yeah, because mm -hmm. boys. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. That's my house. Yeah. Because boys. Um, do you so, have any more whips? Uh, not, none that I brought with me. None okay. that I brought with me. So focus on those some... two. Yeah, what do you have, John? I have, well, first one I'm working on yes. is my sweater class okay. cardigan. I believe you're that far in already. I'll tell you, this is, I mean, Ooh, this is my pattern so with pretty. sweaters, right? If you're doing it's a top so down, pretty. I feel like there's so much going on in the yoke that it blows through the yoke. Interested. And then I got to like, it's the sleeves. In this case, it's a, uh, this is the Eva cardigan from Petite Knits. And it's my sweater class, Sunday sweater class is doing the Eva cardigan and the champagne cardigan. Kind of like two in one. Um, and this yoke went so dang Fast. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I really like the construction of so the pretty. Eva cardigan. So the Eva cardigan has like a modified set in sleeve profile, um, which is uh an interesting construction and actually very well fitting. So I know like Petite Nets gets a lot of flack sometimes for like, you know, the beige scandy look, right? And I am clearly doing it and <laughs> beige. <laughs> but I actually don't have like a neutral like cardigan mm -hmm. at all. Right. Um so I you know, I was thinking about what do I need in my wardrobe, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing about Petite Knits is interesting is that she's, I feel like she's got kind of two categories of patterns, right? One is a, one category is like a bit more straightforward, right? It's a top down round yoke. The beginner stuff. Like the, the beginner novice. stuff. The novice right, right. sweater. Mm -hmm. Anchor. I'm anchor. Like a, a circular yoke or a raglan, yeah. right? Pretty straightforward some detail not a whole lot of detail but a really four, great four short rows and that's it right an easy <laughs> knit not a lot of shaping yeah. um for this specific look right and then her other category of patterns is deceptively simple looking mm -hmm. but with very interesting details right so and I feel like this class has one of each. Champagne oh, nice. okay. is a very straightforward, deep raglan v-neck, right? Yep. So you're doing shaping on, you're doing a lot of at the same time shaping. So that's a big step up if it's not necessarily your first mm -hmm. pro project, right? And then it's also tweaking fit. Like a lot of my sweater classes is about tweaking fit, like really tweaking fit. And what do you do if you're not 100% on gauge? And how do you modify your fit and your size and blah, 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 blah. Right. All that stuff. Um, so, but the Eva cardigan starts with a back yoke trapezoid. And then you pick up stitches and you knit two little rectangles on the front for the fronts. Rectangle on the front. And then you pick up stitches again. And then you knit across the sleeves and join the whole thing in the round. That's, so essentially. It's very Coco Nitsy. It's yeah. very yeah. Coco Nitsy. So essentially what you have is a back seam that kind of sits on the back of your shoulders. That is uh -huh. such a good fit. It's, I yeah. love it. It like uh, anchors the sweater to that part of your body. Oh, it right. does. Yeah, and I have so to good. say uh, another, so the, the Eva cardigan has this shaping and the poppy tee oh. also has this shaping. Um, it is very Coco Nitsy. Uh, <laughs> is that and, a new adjective? <laughs> yes. So right. But it's also really easy to tailor fit yep. and it gives you a modified set in sleeve, right? And so, and then you do increases and she calls them raglan increases. They actually aren't really, they are set up like raglan increases, but they don't make a raglan diagonal line. They make a straight line down. I understand mm. why she calls them raglan increases. It's easier to think of it, uh -huh. but essentially you're making a little set in sleeve gotcha, gotcha. with a seam kicked along the back here so you have a smooth panel of stockinette over here mm -hmm. um and it's pretty easy to modify this style of fit um and tweak to gauge because you can knit to the measurements up here and then you get down in the bottom but with most cardigans especially back and forth i'm like if i am in the swing of going back and forth i better keep going otherwise because mm -hmm. if i put it down to do anything else it's going to turn into 
the summer sorrel and sit for two <laughs> still years. Still going under the TV. Well, except you're teaching the class, but still, sometimes I am teaching it's better. The class. It's better to keep going. It's though. better to keep. If going. you're feeling that, if you're feeling that mojo, you just go. I, right? I, I can't. I'm like, if I can get through the body, yeah, good. But like, uh, the yoke goes really fast. Um, and I am very pleased with it so far. I'm doing this in Madeline Tosh Wool Cycle Sport, held with um, LBA Mohair Silk Springtime at Yarnia. Which I really like how it's looking up. It's got... Which I have to say, on your swatch, it was very hard to tell that it was going to be interesting. And it's now so that you pretty. have a big feel... Isn't it beautiful? beautiful? It's I know. so beautiful. I love it. It's too. got subtle little pops. And I mean, some of the mohair silk, they're hand dyed, right? So some of them are a little brighter than others. So you can kind of tell like this. Yeah. The next skin that I have is a little... I mean, theoretically, I could have alternated rounds. Oh, that would drive no, me crazy. I'm not doing that. Alternating my own hair. Not with silk my own hair. Not with silk my own hair. It'll just, it'll yeah. just be what it is. It'll be, yeah. It's so. It. And actually, can I just make one note because yes. we are working on our current LVA order. They are not shipping silk mohair right now. So oh, if you yeah. love and want springtime at Urania on silk mohair, I think we have seven skeins in, in hand right now, and we don't. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have it in May or June, but we don't know exactly. So yes. if you want it, order it now. And yes. then um, we will also let you know when we get more. But we're sad because we were, sad, I, I was love. actually planning on getting a bunch more colors of yeah, silk mohair. For springtime. For spring so, and, um, and we'll walk and yes. all of that. Yeah. When we can get more, we will get more. That's true. But we just can't right now. We just can't right now. But maybe we'll have a little something else for you. Yeah. When exactly. That, when that shows exactly. up. Well, I mean, we'll always do what we can. Um, all right. So that's project one. Oh, do I put, did I put them both over there? I did. Oh, no, you can't. You have a baby. What are you doing? All right. Uh, project two are my, is it Magnolia socks? Oh, so pretty. My Magnolia socks, which are Helen Stewart. Um, and these are in a pale, pale I feel like this is a very Amanda color. Oh, with it the is sparkle. a oh. pale pink sparkle. I can't remember the exact color, but it is from Color Wheel. Oh, um, nice. From oh. this is the yarn that I picked up at the trunk show. Uh, it's really pretty. Did, sorry, I got I dropped my mohair again. Oh, my gosh, my floof, whatever. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see that or not, but there we go. Do you um, want me to bring it up? Yeah, me. I got I got room over here. Yeah. Okay. If you got room, um, I let me take that. out. There we go. All right. You can just yank the just, okay, just yank, yank it in it. it. So this is Helen Stewart socks. I am straight up copying Amanda. I did this <laughs> a while ago, um, and I loved that pattern. I can't remember what you did yours in. Which one? Uh, Magnolia. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. Magnolia? Oh, Magnolia socks. That's yeah. What, isn't that what I did mine? It is not Helen focusing. Sophie. Yes, you did your Helen Sophie in that. Um, I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but it is there. It's it so is pretty. Sparkle. Very subtle. Um, I like that pattern. So I love this pattern. And I did my, I kind of ignored her heel instructions because I did my heel that I always do. It's very mm -hmm. similar. Mm -hmm. um, I did do eye of partridge instead of the rib because I like eye of partridge better. And I did the double gusset again because I really like how it fits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think pretty. it just looks really cool. It looks really like very a double, cool. Little double V, very and cool. it makes a it makes a really. You can kind of see the. It heel makes goes the sides so smooth. smooth. Yeah. But um, I like how it's got like a little roundy heel, and then it kind of goes up on the arch. Yeah. Nice. So I'm working on that. This will probably bring to the ultimate thing. So because I just I wrote. I wrote out a little chart for the latest pattern on a note card because I'm like, honestly, mm -hmm. that's all I need yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, and then I have, all right. So then I oh, have yes. oh, my goodness. Pastoral I this. 2, which is in Finnish because I am crazy. This is <laughs> one of four charts because I'm nuts. It's a neat They're so pretty. Sock. Um, in finish that I was like, oh my god, I love it, and it's I color love it. work. I must do that. So this is as far as I've gotten. Um, it's a very elaborate chart, and I think I need to take it to uh, like um, the UPS store and get a copy uh -huh. made bigger because it's a bajillion stitches. Yeah, wow. It's like a hundred stitches around. It's on fingering. I'm using the United Sock in the navy and the white. 
Um, or the Jadifra Sakha. Jadifra Sakha. What did I say? United? United, yeah. 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 No they don't, Not, they United don't. is no more. Jadifra Sakha. I'm using the Jadifra Sock and the uh, Navian Ecru. Ecru? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm starting that, and I am doing Magic Loop because it's a bajillion stitches. I, it, the pattern is actually written for double points. Um, and I had to translate it from the finish. <laughs> Thank you, Charts. <laughs> it's got a weird Very heel, fun. too, that's like just garter stitch, and you don't even do a heel turn. It just folds. Oh, weird. I know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, are you going to do all that work and then not do a real heel? I mean, it's, I can't see that. It's an like alternating your... stripy garter stitch. It's um, kind of cute. Okay, all right. And then the right. um, the gussets are also striped. Uh huh. Um. Okay. It's got some nice details. Mm -hmm. uh, I did try it on to make sure it fits around my giant calves. It fits around my giant calves. Nice. Um, I am not doing it on ones like they said. I'm doing it on zeros because I can't wait for you to wear your. Like linen skirts with these tall, socks. tall, and like clogs and go like full finish. You mm -hmm. are, yes. Yeah. You, you have a yellow skirt, right? I do have a yellow skirt. I have to get the yellow skirt altered. It's like the hem is hit hitting at a weird point. So, uh -huh. but that's going to be so cute because you have like pops of yellow in I that. I do have pops of yellow. That would be so cute. I do. And I bet you have clogs that would work great with them too. Oh, I absolutely have clogs that would work See, there you go. We already got your outfit yeah. figured out. So, mom, you got to finish <laughs> altering that skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Edgar, <laughs> take your house. Um, I'm going to throw this on the other side yes. so I don't get your baby. Uh, and that's that's my whips. Yay. Cool. What you got? I'm working on Jen's finished object for February. Yay. Mm -hmm. Which was her sock class. That's right. Yay. That's right. Yay. So um, if you remember, I had these tubes cranked for Ooh. Beth because mm -hmm. she is a baker and she wears wool socks to work um, because wool absorbs moisture but doesn't. Keep, it keeps you dry. Yeah. Um, very good when you're working oh, in sure. a hot environment. So yeah. um, it actually keeps your feet very comfortable. So I, sorry, baby. Um, I got this winter icicle color. This is the winter so icicle. Pretty. And that's West Yorkshire? Yeah. Yes, but West Yorkshire spinners. Cranked yeah. it into a tube on Clementine. I didn't crank it. Sasha did. Um, and now I'm putting in heels and toes. So I finished Isn't the first pink? one. Yay! Oh, so fun. I love, love it. it. Which love heel did you use? Turkish? Turkish, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, um, that's, I've done socks for Beth before, and that one works well for her, so mm -hmm. she, she likes it. I forgot how, like, potato chippy these are. Right? Yeah. They are I so know. fun. So, like I said, started a new set gig. I'm on the train uh, back and forth three times a week, and... Like, I just wanted something that fit in my bag nicely and that wasn't super brain work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's awesome. So, yeah, I actually finished the toe of this. I had rearranged stitches while I was waiting for the train to leave Penn. Mm -hmm. Started as we were pulling out of Penn Station. Finished when we got to Walnut Street. Yeah. The heel. The toe. The oh, toe. the toe. Uh-huh. The toe. Great. It does not yeah. Yeah. take long. Thank you. No. And Our it, train rides are 37 minutes. That yeah. gives you an idea of how long a tow takes. So, mm -hmm. And it's yeah. like chunkable, right? Like yeah. you have the yeah. cuff, the heel, the toe. You just can do like, you could yeah. do like a cuff and a cuff, a toe right. and a toe, a heel yeah. and a heel. I did the, um, and I do mine in a different order than you. That's fine. But everybody wants to, like, you do it the way that you want to do it. Yeah. I do my cuff first because it's right there at the end and I can just, like, I don't have to think at all. I can mm -hmm. just pick up stitches and put on a cuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I ask the wearer, how long do you want your, the leg of your sock to be? Mm -hmm. And then I just cut in a heel and it doesn't matter front, back, like, it doesn't have to be lined up. And then you try on the toe. And then I try on the toe and figure out where the toe ends. Yeah. Yeah. In the tube. Um, and then the second sock, I don't need her foot because I can just like match. Just measure from. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So that has been my train project and I think I'm going to finish it up this weekend for sure. Beth will have a new pair of socks. Nice. That's awesome. I and you'll still have a lot of tube left. Yeah, I will. I don't know. I need to, I don't, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the extra tube. I have extra tube from the other ones I made her yeah. a while ago too. I mean, I'll I tell you. Maybe like, Abby would like a pair from that too or something. <laughs> I don't, I don't feel like doing the other pair in the same color. Right. Like, well, like, put it away for a while and then pull it out. Well. I mean, this is the thing. I've left, I have like extra tube left over too, and I literally just store it like a skeleton. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
stain. I just rolled yeah, it up. Yeah, me, me too. When I, I have my leftovers from last, last summer and my fingering leftovers box. Yeah. yeah. It's a good spot for it. And then if eventually you need to make a sock for somebody, you're, you're, you're right. got the tube ready to go. Yeah. A you're lot of good. people have ordered the class yeah. um, already. Thank you guys. It's done really well. We've gotten a little bit of feedback. Thank you to Carla who found yes. a little a typo. Um, a typo. Thank you. And Jen fixed it right away. We have corrected <laughs> and then. And it's already up. But I don't know how. We might have to redistribute. I've got to figure out yes. how we. Oh, right. How we. Update. It's in the Turkish thumb joint heel. Um, That's this one. I wonder if, if somebody has already bought it, can they download again? Is that... Yeah, well, it's it's say, it's like or if they, in your portal, on, but I don't know how it exactly works. Maybe we, I, if we look and see who bought it, we can also push out an email with the well, kind of a tester. I yes, did. That's true. Yes, we can always... I we did. Can, um, can I've created a new just... archive just for them, so we have, oh, we'll have all the addresses. In fantastic. Spot. Yeah. So yeah, it's if you were in the initial one, it's a typo in the Turkish thumb joint heel. Um, the, the numbers for... Um, Row two. You should just not do row six. one. Yeah. Well, no, there's another one. I, I basically went seven, six, four instead of being knit six, five, four. six knit five, knit four. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And then this time. Sorry. I'm done with. So this is my half finished object. It'll be done next so nice. time. I love yeah. the stripes on that West Yorkshire Spinners. Yeah, right? They're fun. I love I love self-striping sock yarn, especially in a vanilla sock. Yeah. And a tube. That's awesome. Looks fancy, so, but really? So easy. So easy. And yeah. wearable. Um, do you have any other whips? I do. I have one more whip. Yay. So I forgot to show this last time, <gasps> but um, this is the project that I took when we had our, uh, our little couples weekend. At the beginning, we went up to... The Finger Lakes. Did I tell you we went to the Finger Lakes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So we went to the Finger Lakes, um, to a bunch of wineries, had a just a weekend away, which was very pleasant. And then I took this to Las Vegas. Um, but this is my Fine Lines. Ooh, that's, oh, that's right. right. By Lily Kate France. If you remember the on New Year's Eve, right before this one was born, yeah. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Hanging out with Catherine for like a day and a half. I need <laughs> knitting. And I had just finished my big like sweater dress. Mm -hmm. And I was yeah. like, I need something to work on. So I cast on two sweaters. First the um the the cardigan number oh, five. Yes. Your my lacy cardigan. The lacy cardigan. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I, ca I cast on the fine lines by fine Lily Kate France. So, um, so yeah, so this is, this is the body pretty Huge. much. Wow. It's a boat net, like it's a bateau, mm -hmm. right? So it's just straight across pretty much. There is some yeah. shaping up here, but very, very little. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you do the back and the front to the armholes. And it's a rib. And you, yeah, it's a three by one rib and you join in the round, but inside out, which you remember oh. Kathleen was, who, no, you were saying you did a short like... row to turn around. Yep. Mm -hmm. This one, you don't have to do that at all because you have a front and a back and you just, you just you go the other together, way. you put it, yeah, That's the other so way. That's so nice. And knit this whole thing um, inside out. So basically, I was at the point of, I had finished the front and the back and had just joined and done one round mm -hmm. when I went to Las Vegas and I did the rest of this on the flight to and from Las Vegas. Nice. And I'm so bored with it. Three by one rib. Uh, yeah. At the bottom, it's one it's, by one. It's a good what? thing to do when you like, when on a flight or something like that, yeah. when you really have no. I'm just really bored with it. Is it top? It is top DK. Oh my god, it's so it nice. nice. Yes. So yeah. remind me what the oh, sleeves yeah. are. I have uh, this. They're so like nice. they're um a little poof. Yeah, like a balloon little, sleeve, a little and then they have like two one by uh, one by one rib that comes a little deeper, so it's like mid arm. Nice. So it's like poof to here which this is actually quite negative ease. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, but it, my boobs stretches. were big for her size two. My, my waist is her size two. My boobs were too big. So this actually is a size three on the top. Mm -hmm. And then I decreased more. There is waist mm -hmm. shaping, but I decreased more frequently. To get it to a size, size two. Two. Yeah, to yeah. get the fit that you want. Right. Yeah. And then do you... And do this the, is meant to be worn with like a pencil skirt. It's yeah. Gonna, mm -hmm. This is another work outfit because I was like... I yeah. A nice, refined sweater. Yeah. Um, are the sleeves you pick up 
And then do, or do you do them separate and seam them in? Pick up and dip. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Makes it so much easier to yeah. set on a sleeve when you don't have to set on a sleeve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's going to be one really cute. Cute. switching ball like gathers and yeah, extra stitches. Like, oh like the ratio is high. Like it's sort of a pain when you're seating in. It's at much, a high ratio. Yeah. It's much easier to pick up around and then just do your increases up here to yeah. make your little gathers. This yeah. is going to be so nice. And you, that's not a ribbed sleeve. So you don't. Exactly. Now you're done with your sleeve. three by this. one. Yeah. I've got like another. I, put, I tried it on at knit night. And I was like, maybe I'm done with the ribbing. I tried it on with a pencil skirt, and we decided yeah. maybe I should do another inch. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem with the ribbing. You want it deep sometimes, and then yeah. you're like, "I'm done." No, you're not done. Mm-hmm. Yep. Go a little bit longer. But yeah, so that I should be on the sleeves by next time. But that'll be nice. That uh, and it might become a train project after I'm done with these socks, or maybe I'll yeah. just continue doing Seems socks. Seems like that. I mean. A reasonable things to do on the train because it's it's a like a limited amount of time so even right. though you get bored with it you're not doing it for hours on end yeah i don't get bored with stockinette it's just like the no ribbing. i know it's so oh sorry are the sleeves stockinette yes i i yeah, yeah. I, I, I apologize i spaced out doing my floof, yeah, like <laughs> floof. 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 poke in the floof brain of floof um um so the store opens in five minutes yeah so we need to talk about um let's do it we need to talk about our winner from last time and do yes. a new question. And actually, let's, while I set up for that, why don't we show you our new in store, which is going to be our prize for um, our... That's so pretty. All right, our, hold on. Hold sorry. On. Sorry, I just have a stitch marker. And let me grab. There we go. Okay. <laughs> can you put that toward the front? Yes, I so, can. And, and let's talk, talk about, about what we have. It. So, uh, this is, I caused uh, my sweater for Chad. Yes. yes, but we 100% we love it support and are enablers. So this is Madeline Tosh Vintage, Yay. which we have never carried in the store, right. mm-hmm. um, but is brand new for us. And it is their worsted weight to, I'd say, heavy DK, light worsted. It's the mm-hmm. light worsted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and so I'm holding a bunch. And of we the got colors. for some for some unknown reason we got 17 colors. I don't know why we didn't do 18. Maybe we did 18. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe one was. Maybe well one we picked they don't do anymore but they suggested something else. And then maybe yeah. we didn't get that. No, we did. We I, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Who, Who knows? knows? Who knows? We'll figure it out. But my favorite new color is manatee. We haven't had this before. I it's love so beautiful. Manatee. It's a taupe with like some teal and like orangey speckles and it's surprise surprise. Oh, surprise. Um, oh, but there, we, I think we did a really nice job picking yes. colors. Oh. Hey, Seisha. Seisha's here. Hey, Seisha. Hey, and this is Chad's sweater We color. are still taping. So Saffron. That's really nice. sweater cast on in that next time. I so love this fly catcher blue. I love that. It's like, I'm not blue. a blue person. So I think we did, like I said, I think we did a really good job. I did too. Yeah. Like some of the colors we Those haven't are, gotten yeah. before. I also and really love atmosphere. atmosphere. Yeah, that's really pretty. It's beauty. Um, and this one, which is Umbrella Sky, yeah, which is yeah. the neutral with the pops of neon. Really neon very fun. It. Yes. That one, I think, in the skein, it's fun. I think it would make a really nice sweater. Yeah. Oh, I think definitely, it would be, make a fantastic. Right? And asphalt, I love. We had this in sock a long, yes, long time yes. ago. But again, just like if you had a simple sweater with... In that. Yeah. With um, this lovely, you know, patterning of the yarn. So, fun. so yeah. nice. Copper pink paper. We have medieval, the pretty purple. Cactus, I think cactus, that is. Cactus, which is such a beautiful, a nice like, dark like, green. That's, that's Jen's green. That is my green. And we, we definitely like black thought about, like, Rosinante sweater Antart. colors, I would say. You know what I mean? Yep. As Our favorite is Rosinante and Tarte. Yep. And, of course, what would we be without... Citrus. Citrus. Citrus, orange. I love that. That's what my uh, beautiful, my beautiful Tanya is in. Whiskey Barrel, which is one of I our just put favorite all browns. In. Yep. <laughs> and I love time. time. Yep. I was that was a really with good Kim one. About that time yesterday. She's making a really nice sample. Deep, using that. which is such a pretty deep blue. 
And of course, Star Scatter. That's what color Evie is wearing That's in what the Evie's wearing. sport. Yeah. yeah. So if you um, want a little matching top to Evie, but faster yes, for you. Yes, yes, definitely. definitely. I have a sweater that I made years ago in vintage that, I, I mean, again, talking about how like the Tosh sock holds up really well, the vintage also holds up mm -hmm. really beautifully. Um, it's really great. Uh, and I've worn that sweater a ton. I haven't worn it recently. I think and, I like bust it out. Yeah. And for my like must have zero prickle person that I'm knitting for. Mm -hmm. Somebody's fussy. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the perfect it's gonna be the perfect yarn. And yeah. this pattern is for a size seven, which mm -hmm. is perfect for this yarn mm -hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Can't wait. That's perfect. Great. So what was our winner last week? Who yeah, was our so, winner last week? So our question from last time was what is a crafting compliment that you give yourself or that you yeah. should give yourself? And we hope we encourage people to to you know Think praise themselves, themselves more when they're doing their crafting. Yes. A lot of people had nice compliments like you know, I have really even tension or, yes. um, I finish projects, yep. you know, th lots of good Put stuff. So you. if you, if you, <laughs> if you need it, if you need a, a little boost yourself, go ahead and read the comments on yeah. episode 121 because there are a lot of good ones. Maybe one of them applies to you or more. Um, and our winner is travel and live bravely 1646 Ooh. who said a compliment I would give myself is you keep your whips down to three or less. I'm impressed oh with that. That's that is very, like that's self a high level. That's self-control. Um, I don't have do it, but they, I don't have that either. So they win any single skein from color wheel. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. So we have our color wheel. The Surrey is on the website now, right? Yes. Yeah. And, um, we do have DK for our Versace sock quest that's coming up in yeah. April. Yes. So if you really want to make DK socks travel and live bravely, let me know. I do. I did take pictures of those. They're not on the website yet because, um, we're, making we're sure holding it. We're making sure we have it for the class. It would be a real shame if we were like, make DK weight socks and then had no yarn to make DK weight socks. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, um, <laughs> So I think our prize for this neck for this episode should be a skein of Tosh Vintage. Absolutely. Which would make a lovely hat. If you wanted to get another, you could make um, a cowl or get a couple, make a yeah. scarf or something. Oh, yeah. Or, or even make a sweater. Like, right. let us help you with um, getting you started with a skein. And I think our question should be... Booty shorts? Totally make Tosh Vintage booty shorts. I think that would be cozy. Sorry. There, there definitely are. There definitely are some challenges for those. <laughs> There are. Yeah, there definitely are. That's like, <laughs> Jen's like, absolutely not. No, absolutely thank you. Absolutely not. My, yeah. Does anybody, I mean, that's, I'm, my booty gets cold. It would be really nice to my wear booty shorts at night. Booty does not get cold. It does not? Oh. I love, I love my flat nightgowns. Mine's like a butterball God, chicken. I can't, I, do, I can't do flat nightgowns. <laughs> like I just like, like I, I, I wear flannel in the evening and then I change out of that before I get in bed because we have flannel sheets too. Um, oh, too so much flannel. You, you're you never moving. Yourself. You're like, you totally fell for yourself. I literally move. hurt oh. my, my neck <laughs> one night. <laughs> so Stuck. I wear a bamboo neck yeah, to sleep, but I oh love flannel God, in so the evening funny. when I'm being cozy. Um, so I think our question should be, Give us some more hashtag opinion questions. Yes. Because we have actually worked through a lot of them and we um, need some more. I've got yes. our questions and watch your friend of Is your opinion <laughs> that yes, Amanda should make booty shorts? No. <laughs> like no, no. what do you no. think what, of booty shorts? What what would what would you like our opinions? What would on? you like our opinions on? Um, yes. and you know, I mean what do you we know you may not remember exactly what we've already talked about, but, but let's, you know, if there are some things that you were no, thinking no. and we had, you know, if you're a regular watcher, we haven't uh, answered yet or um, if you're new, you know, a ask away. You, ask we love question. we love to give our yeah. opinions. Um, we don't really have time to do one today. Um, I yeah, don't think. No. Um, I mean, but I think that's good because now we're 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 so gathering sick. more, we're gathering more, gathering yeah. more opinions. Yeah. Um, opinion options, whatever. Opinion options, and then you'll get your choice. Your mm -hmm. whoever wins the drawing mm -hmm. will win their choice of Tosh Vintage. It mm -hmm. really is a lovely yarn. It's so nice. Can I just chime in with one other thing that I've been doing, and I keep. Totally. Meaning to mention, and then I'm at a bad point in my row. Um, <laughs> so I, with my, um, you know, two skein project, I've got two balls going at once because it's mosaic and I'm going back and forth. I made my vest into like a basket. I so my inactive oh. yarn is inside <laughs> and my active yarn is in a yarn bowl. And yeah. I could actually have both of them in the same place, but I find it easier to pull yeah, from the yarn good, bowl. Good twisting. Yeah. How did you make it into a basket? Can I made it into a basket with a big um, stitch holder at the bottom oh. through my ribbing. That's, That's so, so cool. <laughs> I bet you could 
awesome. You could also do it with like a like a hair tie, like yeah, exactly. You could you could just do it. exactly. Yeah, you totally could do it with something like it's that. It's so as well. smart because also I then just, you can just like I'm the when queen you're ready of stitch holders like this. I have about a million of them. I don't know about any so. Funny. You can just like cinch it shut. Yep. And you have like yep. pop it in. And and when exactly when I that's what I've been doing when I store it. I put them both in here for you yeah. know, moving back and forth. So So clever. Yeah. So, so clever. I got to do a repeat while we were talking, so that's good with my good. decreases and all. Yeah. Four rows, man. Yep, yep. Four rows. Two of them with floof. <laughs> with floof. <laughs> it's the floof. Um, oh. thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you, Evie, special guest. What was that baby? Wasn't she good? She was so good. So good. Yeah, practically hardly she knew she was there. She just popped right out. So cute. So because cute. she's a good baby or I'm a skilled baby. Or um, maybe both. Both can be true. Maybe both. Both can be true. <laughs> she is both. Oh, look at you. Just in oh, time. Oh, I think she's That was a tiny she, little nap, like, though. Mimi, maybe she'll come Mimi, you woke out. me up. We're I'll loud. you up. Um, we are thank you for joining us. Um, make sure to, if you liked it, like, and subscribe. We're so close to 4k. Um, and then, uh, don't forget to follow us online. We're shop yarning it everywhere, including Instagram and Facebook. And we hope to see you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.